Hey guys, here with Sync, and up against Leela Patel, and is a bit dicey. Hmm, this is probably a no-go. Yeah, that's a lot better. So we've got a hard ETR, which I like to see. A gift here. It's. No, we can wait to gift. Don't really want to give him an idea of what the HQ ice is. Archangel, yeah, we'll play that to R and D. So I'm looking for some indication of whether he's playing. Oh boy, double data folding. What? What is double data folding going to do? Hmm. Interesting. We respect inside job. I think maybe we do. So this is what I usually try to do against Leela. Is advance the agendas once so you can do two advance and then you can replace your ice on the third click which saves you the credits of paying the install cost. Like I could preemptively put this out here and have it get bounced, then reinstall it for another dollar. It's not really ideal. So do we go for the three point BL or is it too greedy with only $9 in our pool? Logos, yeah. I think maybe it's greedy. Though he has zero dollars, so there's something he said for that. You know what? Let's get let's get the three point deal. Three points is gonna put us in a great place to score in only three agendas. Let him bounce the R&D. He can try to hit, but he still doesn't get him there. So we'll score the deal for three points. He gets Logos, he gets Gang Sign, which is probably going to benefit us, actually. Nope, gets lucky and sees the gift. I do like this deck as it plays differently than other decks, but I don't think it's actually very good. Has a lot of trouble pressuring. When there's no breakers, you're only just hoping there's too much in the HQ. Does he hit on the RDI? No, get lucky there. Well, I'd love to play Celebrity Gift here, but I think all I gotta do is play the... You can pay two to avoid the tag. I think the Archangel's actually better. I 
because you have to pay the trace and he's got zero link otherwise we'll bounce his rdi and then he won't get his access his extra access he's gonna face check into it mm, okay Let's see if he wants to pay six he probably does actually He was prepared to see Gutenberg, but that's not what it was. Yeah, bounce RDI. Get back in there. I'm going to remind him just in case. Now he's got it. One card. Trash is Jackson. Can't complain about that. What a great little one of. Like, I think every NBA deck should probably have one Archangel. When it's good, it's so good. Very recently cost it for. Mr. Lee, meh. Not overly impressed by his deck so far. So this celebrity gift came at a very great time. Now we can afford all our ice. Got some ravens in the HQ, keeping the kitty safe. Got a pretty solid remote. He's really just kind of being non-interactive with us. Which is fine for now, but he's going to have to do some sooner or later. The gang sign does more when we're, you know, stuck in our... When we're stuck in our HQs, we can't score anything, but we have enough money that it's not really an issue right now. So what did he just do? Did he, okay. He just accidentally drew instead of Mr. Lee. Crappling hook. Whoa. So are we even gonna score this, putting us to four points? It's not even that good. Hmm. We just throw the Gutenberg out. I don't think it's good enough. The cycle I've been thinking about going into one copy. I initially runners were going to tag me pretty early, but now that they're going later and later, and just taking more uh, more caution, they're breaking the art the uh, Gutenberg more often. They're parasiting the Raven more often, taking minus one from news team. So one copy might actually be enough. It's definitely great when it's great, but it isn't always the case. Overmind. Uh, do we even want this kitty? I don't. Or I don't think I do. This is probably not any good. I want to draw. Yeah, okay. Can we afford to keep two ravens out? Are they even good? Let's keep one raven out. And the wraparound will be stopped. We'll stop the overmind. Mine's gotten worse and worse over time. I think initially it was all right, but now with Faust, like every other AI breaker is just kind of blah. Hmm. Do 
we just jam this, he's probably gonna actually uh, access news team off of this. Nope, Cyberdex. Oh well. What does Logos get him? Oh, a hidden card, of course. We'll have to wait and see. So he bounced my Gutenberg. Which is kind of neither here nor there. This all seems very dirtily. Let's see if we can run on this. I don't know if we can. something. Make some accesses, score some points. Okay, that's fair. Tough luck. I mean, we know where six of our points are. There's only 18 in the deck. We know where nine of our points are, technically. Fast track. Hmm. Tempting. But we know we can actually get in to the remote, which is problematic. Come on, bite on this. I wonder if we would have fast tracked Astro and installed a Woody on for it. What do you go for this one? <laughs> A very dramatic game, I suppose. Oh, this time he buys it? That's so funny after he didn't buy any of these news teams. Well, I know he's just gone. So that makes the Raven better, Gutenberg better. He has to play another one now if he wants to get it back. So Gutenberg in the hand. Hmm. 
there's an astro, but I'm kind of scared to do much with it. Give me a dump of food. If he access his archives, there's three news teams, so we'll either have him take like six tags and we can psycho out, or he gets three and loses, or he gets two points and loses three points. I think we're just waiting for Biotic, almost. The 15 minutes could put us to 5 without our kitty. I think the second wraparound would be enough to probably push. He can have inside job, but he has to have pretty specific... Uh, like, only inside job beats the wraparound. Or, like, the same old thing inside job. If he has anything, like, they might play Breach sometimes, but rare to see Croder in this kind of list. Oh, that'll do. So if this lives, we'll get to score Astro, and if it doesn't, then just taxed him. do much. Actually all our ice is one sub except for the Enigma, so really not feeling this grappling hook. Yeah, very timid. Uh, so we installed double advance, even with the biotic we're still a token short. So we'll just score Astro here. Take ourselves to six points. He gets the gang sign trigger. Misses. Oh, he does get the food because of. Hmm. Did he do two individuals or did he do one two card access? So those are two different things. You're, so you have to do one, put the card back, and get one again. They're separate triggers. Um, I can't quite tell. I'm not going to fuss about it since we're a casual game, but I would fuss about it if it was anything else. So the bird can go. You can fast track 15 minutes and score out next turn. There's not much you can do about it. Fast track, great card. Yeah, six bucks on the Overmind. That's one way to do it. Whew, burns two, two, two Jackson Howards, but doesn't hit agendas. Gotta go again, right? I mean, yes, you get lucky. If you can get an access on R&D and then hit the archives, you can take the food before the, the news team. That's what he needs. No, no luck. I think I'm liking this 1x sand sand. Like in 44 cards you do see it by the time you really need it, which is when you're unable to score by rushing. Really wasn't able to siphon us the entire game, and I think that's part of his problem. This data folding is super slow. Like, you can land one siphon for value, or you can wait 10 turns with this card. Or actually, really, 13 turns because of three initial cost.
Yeah, I think this is fine now. Like, he's really just hoping that we dumped a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, you might as well get six tags at that point. So, in fact, had we not had fast track here, we would have been in a bit of a pickle because he could R&D lock us. But we've just, uh, we get around that pretty nicely. There's nothing that we have to care about, right? No. Fast track gets it done. Love fast track, quite enjoying this deck. I'm not even sure we need the biotic. I'm not sure it's that much better than the sand sand, but we have the influence left over. Archangel and R&D, so true. Thanks for watching, guys.